Hey y'all, Elle here. So today we are going to talk about six of my favorite black owned makeup brands. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people posting videos or pictures, um, you know, about supporting black owned businesses for the month of February or as a theme on their pages or channels or something. Um, I wanna make it very clear that to me at least, uh, promoting black owned businesses and those who excuse me I totally have a cold and I sound super super nasally right now I can barely breathe but... so I wanted to make the point that I really think that it's important to support black owned businesses black owned brands year round especially beauty brands uh, because I don't feel like they get the exposure that they necessarily deserve um sometimes you know they're not really covered on like the bigger makeup pages or something like that and they're doing really good work to diversify the beauty industry which is very important in an industry that is obviously you know not the best for black women a lot of the time so i just wanted to recognize them um and this by no means is an exhaustive list i have an entire black owned uh, brand slash business list um, on my blog, which I will link in the details and I mean that's why I created Duke Black in the first place my Instagram page because I wanted to give these brands um, more publicity and more exposure um, before I start this video all of these products I have purchased myself I was not paid to do this video it's not sponsored anything like that um, but these are just truly some of my absolute favorite brands. Thank you, phone. Um, so let's get started with that real quick though. My hair is a second day wash and go using Sultanicals gel. I can't lie, I don't really like it. Um, I'm pr And I've used this gel a few times. I actually had two bottles of it and uh, I probably won't buy it again. So we will talk more about that in my empties video because uh, I only have a little bit left, but let's get cracking and let's talk about these brands. I'm not doing swatches um, because it would take too long but they are, there are lots of swatches on my page, um, blog posts on these, so I'll link to those as well. Great. Uh, the first brand I want to talk about is Skinny Dip. So Skinny Dip actually makes base products for makeup, like this is a foundation. They also make BB cream and kind of like a base bronzer. Um, I think that the ingredients are wonderful. That was one of the main things that attracted me to it. It's oil-free, silicone-free. I hate silicones in foundations. I know a lot of people don't read the ingredients to their foundations, but I do, and they, like, silicones just wreak havoc on my face. Don't like them at all. Um, and I don't even really use a lot of liquid foundations because of that, because of the, because the ingredients are so bad to me. Um, I was even looking at like luxury foundations yesterday and I was just like, I don't really want to put that on my face, but skinny dip, um, has natural ingredients, no parabens, no silicones, no oils, um, things like that. And lots of good extracts in here, like chamomile, uh, corn flour extract. And it's just overall a really good product, like lethicin in here, vitamin E. Um, so I think that in this, first of all, this is $11. And this is how many ounces? It's just one ounce, but it's $11. Like, come on, like you really have nothing to lose by trying it. And I find it very moisturizing. Um, it builds well, it sets well. And if I'm going to use a liquid foundation, this is pretty much the one I reach for. The other one I usually use is from Milk Makeup, but I do prefer this to Milk because it's a little more moisturizing and it's winter right now, which is drying my skin out like crazy. And I've been trying to moisturize as much as possible, but I think that this is great and I mean like I said $11 you really have nothing to lose and they have a good customer service samples they have a chart on their website so if you're you know this shade in another brand they are trying to match you with what you'd be in their brand and I just think it's really helpful so that would be my first amazing product um, for base products I'm like trying to go down like what order I would use my products in so next Next up, I have Mama Pat. She is Pat McGrath. And I know um, a lot of people don't really buy Pat McGrath a lot because it's a luxury brand. It's pretty expensive. This is um, one of her eyeshadow palettes. This is just, this is Mothership Decadence, I believe. Um, and I really wanna be clear when I say this. First of all, Pat McGrath is like my makeup fairy godmother she is one of the most famous makeup artists in the entire world she's just freaking brilliant and to see a black woman 
um, achieve with a luxury brand like this just like makes me so happy. So I don't mind dropping the cash on Pat. Um, she gets plenty of my coins. But if you don't, that's totally fine as well. But I will say the quality of the eyeshadows is definitely the best quality eyeshadow I own. And I own eyeshadows from like drugstore quality to like higher end, um, you know, NARS, all that. And she is just blowing all of them out the water. Um, just to show you this palette, I have swatched this on Do Black, but these shadows, let me see, are so smooth. It's like they have butter in them. I don't even know what it is, and they're so pigmented. You just see one swipe, it's just amazing. And on top of that, I love her lipsticks. They are super moisturizing, and they last forever. And I have the Liquid Lust, which is the liquid lipsticks, and I have just the tube lipsticks. First of all, the packaging is luxurious on the tube lipsticks. Um, I always bring that lipstick with me if I feel like I'm going to something fancy because I could like whip it out and I'm like, yes, look at me. Um, <laughs> but they really, really stay on. I know one time I went out and I was like eating wings and even though the lipstick is not transfer proof, by the time I was done, I didn't even need to touch it up. It was like witchcraft. I don't even know what you were doing, Pat, but I very much appreciate it. And I definitely, especially if she is sales, she is like sales for 15% off sometimes. Or um, if you wait for Sephora VIB, um, her products are sold on the Sephora site. I do definitely recommend picking one of these up. And she has mini palettes coming out at the beginning, what, May, March 7th. Um, and those will be smaller and they won't have this heavy lacquer packaging. Um, but the eyeshadows are obviously going to be the same quality and those are going to be 50 bucks. So I definitely highly encourage you to check those out as well. Up next, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite brands um, on the market, um, Beauty Bakery. I know I talked about their bronzer palette when I was talking about my favorite products of 2017 because that palette is like so pretty. Um, this is their blush palette that I have. I'm wearing the blush today. I did wear some Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow. I have it like under my eye. And then the Skinny Dip is my foundation today. Um, but I really love this palette and I pretty much love everything I have from ba Beauty Bakery. I have like the loose highlighters. I have the bronzer palette. I have this palette. I have an eyeshadow palette. I have several of the lipsticks. I have all of the concealers and the only thing I don't like love is the concealer. I'm wearing the concealer today and my only small gripe with the concealer is that it dries so fast um, that I kind of wish it were a little bit creamier, but I think that it's going to bless me when it's more humid outside because when I was in Hawaii um, getting my yoga certification, oh yeah, by the way, I'm a yoga instructor now. Uh, it worked like I liked it better because it was so humid and it was warm out there rather than being here where it's like 30 degrees and the dew point is in the 20s. So that's also something to consider when you are choosing your makeup. Climate does matter, like use of glycerin, humectants, and oils in your makeup does matter. That's why I'm like such an ingredients fiend, but that's just me. Um, but anyway, Beauty Bakery is definitely on my list of one of the best makeup brands. I like that they also like listen to their consumers and they're always asking questions on how they can be better. So that's really cool. Um, next. Now, this is just one of the many highlighters I have from 9.3 Beauty. And you can see it has like an iridescent top and it reflects back. I, I think less people know about 9.3 Beauty. Um, and I have to say that out of all the highlighters I have, and I pro, oh my God, I don't even, I can't even tell y'all how many highlighters I have because the number is embarrassing. Um, Beauty Bakery is definitely my favorite formula. And this one, this highlighter is called Bel Air and it even smells like s'mores. And I'm just like, I can't even, like, really? Uh, yeah. But their highlighters are super pigmented, super sparkly, not super glittery. So it gives you like this nice sheen without being overly glittery. I know some people don't like glittery highlighters. I personally like all highlighters, but and they're, they're uh, gosh, they're pretty much, like, they this is only, like, $17. Um, and you can usually use code 93 to get 10% off. Their shipping is fairly low, and they're just amazing. Their highlighters are just amazing. I also love their matte lipsticks and their satin lipsticks, but the highlighter is definitely, like, 
the main like zinger product from them that I feel like you have to try. And they have, you know, shades for all different skin tones and they're just gorgeous. Okay. So now we're to lips. Um, wearing this right now. So this is Colored Rain Nude. Um, I actually have this paired with Minted and we'll talk about Minted in a second, but two of my favorite companies that have lip products, uh, Colored Rain Lipsticks. I definitely would compare to Anastasia Beverly Hills in terms of quality and I think ABH is probably my favorite liquid lipstick um, that I can just like buy at Sephora or Ulta. Um, and I really love the, you know, the range of shades that Color Rain has and they're just, I, I have like 17 of their lipsticks so I can't really say enough about them but if you're looking for a black owned indie that you want to get lipsticks from, you're looking for that high quality, that long lasting, um, not going to budge when you eat or anything like that, like the wear all night lipstick, this is your go to flush out. Last but definitely not least, I want to talk about one of my favorite cosmetics brands, um, Minted Cosmetics. Um, this is their gloss and mauve over. I pretty much have their entire collection. They sell lipstick, lip gloss. Um, oh, they have a new eyeshadow palette that just came out that I have not gotten yet and I feel like I need to get it. But they, first of all, I love what they stand for. They're really for diversity and beauty. So they developed a line of lipsticks that are nude lipsticks that basically cater to various skin tones and they show you know women of various skin tones wearing their lipstick on their website and I just think it's a really good message to send out to the beauty community. Um, not everyone's nude is like a pale peach. So they created, you know, they have a pink one, but then they also have like a dark brown nude. And I think the range is gorgeous. I actually did swatches of their lip glosses and most of their lipsticks that I will put in the details. And they're very moisturizing. Um, in terms of quality, I think they pretty much remind me of MAC lipsticks. Um, these glosses are so moisturizing when I'm flying, which is why I'm sick right now. I had to travel on Monday. Um, these glosses are so moisturizing if you're going to be like any type of dry environment and you want to be nourishing your lips and they're semi-opaque um, so you don't really have to worry about them just like running everywhere but then they also do give you a kick of color um, so it's kind of like your lips but better. So yeah these just wonderful and I really can't wait to try their eyeshadow palette because that is also like nude based that's their kind of like theme um, minted stands for pigmented which I think is really cute. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that as well because I'm sure the quality is gonna be bomb. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I went, I just went through, I wanted to show the products, but I've tried several things from each of their lines. So if you don't see another review or you don't see posts on my IG of me talking about it, please definitely just ask me, um, you know, have you tried this? Like, how do you like it? Because all I wouldn't have these products or these brands on my list if they didn't have a variety of wonderful products. And that's pretty much the long and short of it. Uh, so anyway, I think that's it. So thank you all for watching and we will chat later. All right, bye.